Good morning. It is 824 on our way toward a windy high of 40. And right now it's 30 degrees at 102.7 KINX. Joining us into our studios on this Monday. It's a fine looking Monday after that cold spell we had over the weekend with some, well, some snow still lingering around is is Charlie Willett. Good morning, Charlie. Morning, Troy. How you doing this holiday season? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Yeah, doing all right. Getting getting ready for the big, uh, I guess, four day weekend for some. Heck yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, you come into our studios and you talk a little bit about something. Uh, save the snail. Is that right? Yep. Uh, hmm. what, what what it was was we made a movie hmm. in regards to all the post office closures around the United States. Okay. Now, when you say we, who is we made the movie slash documentary? Uh, that would be myself and. Josh Platchy, uh, the two of us basically put this documentary together over a course of about two weeks. So it was thrown mm-hmm. together and really just trying to get that information out there so Congress and all those people mm-hmm. up there can realize the small people out here are struggling without a post office. So this was your initial reaction then when you hear that there was a possibility of several post offices, especially in the rural areas of Montana, being closed. This was your initial reaction saying, what can we do about it? Uh, yeah, it was uh, the town's reaction wanted to, you know, just get our word out there and show that places like Nyhart, Montana are really isolated. Mm-hmm. And for especially older people to get their medicine is going to be real difficult to have to drive that far. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of the people in the community kind of urged us on to do this. And, mm-hmm. and so we took the project and what we did is we traveled around the state of Montana and just interviewed all sorts of people from different towns and Got their opinions on it, basically. Yeah, so this was, like you say, a two-week project. Yeah, it was, right. it was real quick. It was thrown together, and the movie is about 20 minutes, so there's a lot of information that, you know, might have been missed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but like I said, uh, just kind of winging it here. Right, trying right. Trying to get the information out there. Right, and when you say get it out there, is there only one location? Or since you, you know, interviewed several different people across the state, is it going to be shown throughout the state of Montana? If very, you know, different, obviously, venues, or just one location one night? Uh, basically, the movie is just on, it's on YouTube. You can go to savethesnail.us to see it. Um, we will be mailing out certain ones, uh, DVDs across the state to the different places that we went. Um, but there is no real showing because, like I said, we're just trying to, you know, make people um, up in Congress aware, and hopefully they see it and they'll uh, raise their eyebrows and say, "Hey, we got to change something." Right, and again, that's save the snail. Dot us. Dot us, and it's at on YouTube. Yep. Okay. And yeah, and, and and as far as uh, getting your message out to Congress, how do you know they're going to actually see this or get word back to them? <laughs> hmm? Well, that's a pretty good question. Um, it's a shot in the dark. Mm-hmm. Uh, things like this, getting on the radio, getting some television time, maybe even newspaper, as much publicity as we can. Other people are out there doing this, trying to make uh, raise awareness through videos of theirs. Um, so I'm hoping that a big enough collaborative of people will... You know, someone up in Congress eventually has to turn on YouTube. <laughs> right, right. And, of course, we're visiting with Charlie uh, Willett uh, with uh, Save the Snail. And, again, if they would like uh, to, I uh, guess, maybe help out in any way possible, is there a phone number or a website besides YouTube that can get more details and information from this, uh, yep. Charlie? You go right to savethesnail.us, and you can actually, right there, you can contribute as much money to this project as, as, as you'd like, mm-hmm. from anywhere from, I think, a dollar up to a million dollars. So, right. Um, Anyways, the more funding we get, the more we can uh, get this information out there. Right, right. And eventually save those post offices from being closed as a restructuring event with the U.S. Postal Service. Yeah, you got to save that snail. Mm, save that snail. Dot U.S. on YouTube. You'll find a, about a 20-minute documentary. All right, well, thank you so much for Charlie uh, Willett for bringing this to our attention. And keep up the great work. You're trying to save a, a wonderful establishment here in the in the treasure state of Montana. And uh, we wish you well in your endeavors, okay? All right, thanks, Troy. You got it. Day 28, you're with 102.7 KINX. Save that snail.